we need to uh, we need some uh, we need someone to take over this town. We can't agree on what to build now. Well, I think we should have another restaurant. Well, I think we've got more than enough restaurants. What about a hospital? We should we should pick someone to do this stuff for us. I like that idea actually. What about him? Hey, what about what about that guy over there? That guy? Hmm. Let's see. Hello, this is ZJ, and welcome back to our fun adventure. Today, we're back with another episode of Minecraft Town Java, and I'm in my incredibly rugged clothing because now that we've built a city hall, I felt it would be appropriate to add the roleplay aspect to this series now. This, the roleplay aspect that I have just made up. Just now. Yeah. Anyways. Basically. The story was sort of clear, but sort of not. So basically, I was a homeless guy over here, uh, and the villagers over inside McDoinkles over there, they're still there. Actually, that this is McDoinkles. This is... Did I get rid of the sign? I think that's cooking, but now that the sign's not there, I can't tell. If this is Wendy's, that's Dairy Queen. Yeah, okay, that's cooking. Uh, jeez, oh, can't believe that. Cook in magically fixed it. Anyways, they were arguing and cooking because they couldn't decide what to build next. So basically, me as the mayor of this new city, proclaimed by the people who couldn't decide anything, they decided, well, let's just have someone decide for us. And so I decided, let's build me a house, <laughs> or rather, let's build a city hall. Uh, basically, the city's house. Anyways, uh, yeah, 
So, in the beginning, if you remember a while ago for my Halloween movie, because that's how long it's been since we've made a Minecraft Town Java video. It's crazy. Or, no, 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 we did the restaurant, and... I don't remember which one we did first now. Anyways, whatever. So, I don't even think I showed you guys this, but I changed this. This was supposed to be warped planks, but it wasn't because I built it in 1.14 before they added all the nether stuff. But it was supposed to be in this color, at least the thing I was basing it off of was. So I made it that color now. Anyways, that's pretty much all the renovations that I've made to the town, other than removing all of the vines from the Halloween movie. Hello, sir. So anyways, um, I, if you, you may have saw when I was doing the interior, you may have. You definitely saw when I was doing the, uh, the, uh, time lapse there that, um, it was very dark inside. And you didn't exactly see me place down that many lights. And I haven't placed down any more lights than what you've already seen. But I've used the magic of commands to, um, give me night vision as soon as I walk in. So, it's like I turn the lights on as soon as I walk in. Uh, anyways, so, basically, um, what we do is we walk through the keen. There are iron golems here, and I know these are fence gates. I know what you're thinking. You can just open these and walk through them. And it appears that we can. But we cannot jump over them, because I put barrier blocks there. But what I should have done was put barrier blocks down here, so you can't walk, so you can't just open and walk through them. I mean, I don't know of a way to make sure that fence gates stay closed, but uh, I'm sure there is one. Actually, this is my first Minecraft Town Java video with the new computer, so yay. Um, yeah. Anyways, so, um, this is like the king area in the, like, basically, well, because you can't just have everyone walking into City Hall straight into where they do all the business such and such. So, uh, yeah. Oh, nope, don't want one there. Anyways, see, now that I have finished placing down these barrier blocks, you cannot <laughs> open up the fence gates and walk through them now. I just figured fence gates look better than normal fence, so I, I just used that. Anyways, in the lobby area, we have um, these benches, and uh, it appears we're missing a sign. Perfect. We're happening to miss a lot of stuff. I probably should have looked this over before I started recording. Anyway, so this is night vision, and any way of exiting the building without uh, doing slash through, through the wall, or breaking a window, uh, or stuff like that, um, every conventional way removes the night vision effect. So as you can see, if we open this door, it's now dark in there. But, once we walk in, we'll hit the pressure plates and it becomes bright again. Anyways, let's go up to the keen area. Now, for roleplay purposes, we can pretend that there's a receptionist in there. And, um, no, there isn't, so I'm gonna have to do this. And whoosh, I'm inside now. So the receptionist would say, um, give me your, uh, identification or something, and if they're permitted to go in, she'd push this button, and just like that, you heard it very slightly. Let me do it again. Door opened. So, yeah. Now, if you weren't the one opening the door, you would have plenty of time to make it through, I think, hopefully. But if you are the one that's pushing the button, then, well, that's an issue. So, since I can't time it right, um, we'll just walk in. And the city's first mayor, Mayor Bob J. Smith, that's me. And that is also me. <laughs> this giant version of me is me. That would make sense. Now, this is the floor pattern I stuck with for the whole thing. And this is what polished granite would actually be used for in real life. Um, anyways, let's take a look. So we have the elevators, that's what these are. And the stairs, elevator. We have the museum area. Yes, I did pronounce it museum, I'm so cool. Okay, so we have a ton of paintings in here, a ton of display cases, uh, all that good stuff. And, uh, paintings all around. And over here, we have the men's lavatory. 
and uh, there's another one on the other side. Here is the other side, of re the other side's receptionist, because you know it would take forever if it was just the one. So there's two, um, and the computer's here. This button will also open the other door, like magic. And here's the office area. I'm not going to show you the other one because it's identical. In fact, it's quite literally identical, except for the paintings, because I used World Edit to copy it. Anyways, we can't walk, um, we can't walk through the middle and still get to that side because, well, there's barrier blocks here to hold the paintings up. Um, yes, I'm sorry if I've spoiled the fact that paintings cannot stand on their own, even though they totally should. Anyways, walking through the office area, we have the supervisor's office, which is just a slightly bigger office. <laughs> Who would have thunk it? And I have a nice glass here, nice office there. Anyways, continuing on, uh, let's go upstairs. We could take the stairs, or we could be cool and take the elevator, like this, which is cool. And we can, I'll just take, I'll show you the stairs do in fact work, because it's kind of hard to make stairs not work. Anyways, let's go back up here. And there's the third floor elevator, we're not going to use that quite yet. This is the first voting room. This is where everyone votes to pass bills. I know they have these types of things in the government office. I can speak, but uh, I don't know about, uh, about City Hall, so I'm just assuming that they're kind of like the same thing. If not, then appears we're also a governor. <laughs> Yay. Over here, and that other side's exactly the same. Over here we have a drafting room for any of our ideas that we need, like planning or pitching, etc. That's fun Latin. And uh, this is a little display thing of, of course, me. It just surrounds the whole place. Here is just another exit. Whoopsay! You didn't see that. Anyways, actually this place looks surprisingly decent. And of course, the exact same thing on the side. Now, there's only an elevator that goes to the third floor, no stairs, so the uh, power goes out, well, that'll be a big issue. <laughs> Anyways, going up, alright, here we are on the third and final floor, and would you look at that, we can almost see my face, it goes up to the ceiling, it's incredibly tall. But, uh, anyways, we have some more lavatories, more fancy ones, because this is the third floor for very classified personnel only. And, uh, let's see over here. We have my bedroom, because I'm assuming this is like the White House, and the mayor sleeps and lives inside of the mayor's office. I actually just thought about that, and, yeah, that doesn't make much sense. But we're gonna roll with it, because I'm homeless, so what else am I gonna do? <laughs> Anyways, here we have all four of the mayor's computers, because, yes, all mayors use four computers simultaneously. Yes, let's type in all caps, polish black stone stairs, and look at that, I have a desk chair now. Okay, here's my wonderful looking bed, it actually looks really nice. And let's use some carpe, why is caps lock still on? Red carpet, and we'll just do things like that, look at that, now I'm very bad at making my own bed. Perfect, you have paintings everywhere, and of course, um, why does this keep breaking? porches. This, and of course the night vision goes away, and we have the mayor's private porch to view an apartment complex, a, uh, a beach, a restaurant, the tops of restaurants, uh, that place, and of course, um, well, actually we can barely see Bloxmart, but whatever. Anyways, let's jump off. Whee! And just like that, we're pretty much finished. Also, it's got a clock tower on it. And not only that, it's got a clock tower on all four sides. Yeah. Anyways, I need to go back in because I forgot to show you something. Um, we have a clock, a giant clock inside of our room. Yay! Uh, yeah. But, anyways, um... That's going to be the end of this episode here. I hope you did indeed enjoy, and I will see you guys in the next episode of Minecraft Town Java. Goodbye!